Meetings being brought to you from the beautiful land of the sun, Phoenix, Arizona. This broadcast originates at the lovely International Healing Cathedral. We are pleased to present to you the ministry of full and complete salvation. And now we introduce to you Brother Franklin Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, you have only been taught one half of your salvation. You've been gypped. You've been cheated. You only got Jesus in your heart. You only got heartfelt salvation. Jesus never did mention that word, heartfelt, because he was a whole man savior. Now we have with us some witnesses that, have, uh, that are in the studio at this time, and I'd like to bring them forward. But before I do, I want to bring you some music. We have here at the International Healing Cathedral in Phoenix, Arizona, we have a cathedral band. And we want to hear that band. And then immediately after the band, why, you're going to be privileged to hear one of our, one or two of our witnesses as much as we have time for. And uh, at this time, I want you to hear uh, the band that we have here in Phoenix, Arizona at the cathedral that's located at 9840 North 15th Street in Phoenix, Arizona. And I might invite you to our conventions. We have two of them a year. You can hear our musicians when you come. We have a convention every July 1st to the 14th and every December the 1st to the 14th. So we invite you to come to the International Healing Cathedral, 9840 North 15th Street. Now here is our band.
Now we want to introduce to you Brother Mark Brewer Hall. Come on up here, Mark. Greet the people. My name is uh, Mark Hall, and I'd like to uh, sing this song, Born to Serve the Lord. From the dust of the earth, my God created man, his breath made man a living soul and God so loved the world that he gave his only son and that is why I love him so for I was made it is likeness created in his image for I was born to serve the Lord, and I will not deny Him. I will always walk beside Him. For I was born to serve my Lord. For these hands were made to help my neighbor and my eyes were made to read God's word and my feet were made to walk in his footsteps for my body is the temple of my Lord for I was made in his likeness created in his image for I was born to love my Lord and I cannot deny him I will always walk beside him for I was born to love my Lord love my Lord praise the Lord now I'd like to this time to share with you <clears throat> a message on spiritual flows in the same time quoting some lot of scriptures concerning how to put on the spiritual clothes, the new and spiritual clothes that is. Starting with Isaiah 61 10 says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom a decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride a daughter herself with her jewels and then remember Revelation 3.18 says I counsel thee to buy of me gold try in the fire that thou mayest be rich and right raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint the eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Praise the Lord. And after the white raiment is the upper garments of fire, and the uh, first upper garments, and then when the garments of fire, it says about that in Matthew 22, verse. 15 and 16 where it says that when the king came in to see the guest he saw there a man not having on a wedding garment <clears throat> a wedding garment and he came unto him and said unto him friend whence come aside hither not having on a wedding garment and he was speechless then he said unto his servants take him 
and bind him and cast him into outer darkness where shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Praise the Lord. After the wedding garments of fire is a king of flint color and costly power upon us at all times. And the girls have protection down upon us too at the same time. And and <clears throat> putting on the life, immortality, restoration in Jesus about that in Romans 2 7. To them who by patient continuance and well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. And after that is putting on the armor of God, and that is in Ephesians 6 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you even be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And if you drop down to verse 15, where it says, Stand therefore, have your lawns good about with the truth, and have it on the breastplate of righteousness, and having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, where well, will you be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked? And take the helmet of salvation and the soul of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And then I'm in the armor of light, Romans 13, 12. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Praise the Lord. After the armor of light is putting on the Lord Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, which is Romans 13, 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Praise the Lord. Now, those of you people that is listening to this tape, and let's think over this telecast here, knows what I'm talking about. I am talking about how to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then after that, after putting on the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, which is being baptized into his now body. There's a bat that in. First Corinthians 10, 2, 4, 2, 4, and 6. And they were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all drink the same spiritual drink that they drank the spiritual water that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Now these things were examples. As he also lusted. And after, as he be baptized into his now body, and that is going on to perfection. It says about that in Hebrews 6 and 1 and 2. Therefore, leaving their principles of the doctrines of Christ, let us go on into perfection, not laying in the foundation of their works out of faith toward God. Thank you, Lord. And after going on into perfection, <clears throat> which is that nothing shall be enemy, hurt me or harm it says about that in Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power that tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you, or I may add, harm you. Praise the Lord. And after that, and as I do put this laws on, the Holy Ghost fire come upon my, upon my body. So about that in Matthew 3 11 says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me who is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. 
He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Oh yes, Lord. And Luke says about that, and Luke 3.16 says, John answered, saying unto them all, I about talk with water, but there, but the one man of the night coming unto the boot shoes I'm not willing to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, part one, for the inner man, and with the Holy Ghost fire, part two, for the outer man. Praise the Lord. And in 1 Kings 18 38 says, Then the Father Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, all the offering, and the wood, and the stones, and the, 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 the water that was in the trench. Glory to God. In Acts 2 and 3, says, there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as a fire, as set upon each of them. Thank you, Jesus. And when Hebrews 1 and 7 says, And the angels he saith, who maketh his angels' spirits, that is, ministers, a flame of fire. Praise God, amen. And there's a lot more scriptures about this Holy Ghost fire, too. And as I said just now, for the outer man, or for first the inner man, and then the outer man. The outer man must have the Holy Ghost fire upon it. So we can be able to move forth and to proclaim this ministry of the body felt salvation for the whole man's salvation, that is. It is about that in Thessalonians 5.23. And here we got a peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God, your whole spirit now, and soul, and body, be preserved and blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God, Romans 12, Romans 12, verse 22. Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Glory, hallelujah. And I believe that you are receiving right now that are watching this talk as over the United States of America is already feeling the Holy Ghost fire is upon you already. Because this wants to testify upon you and to purify you and also to burn out the chaff and the dross and the sickness and the tiredness, praise the Lord. And also all pain and diseases, praise the Lord, and the weaknesses out of your body. So we can be made strong in the Lord and be able to go forth in the power of his might. Because I am always using the word of God. What God put upon my heart this very day. And I believe that the more far we get, the more fruit we bring forth to this ministry. On this afternoon, let us, as the scripture says in John 15, 8, herein is, a, herein is my father looking to bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Glory to God. And also we must abide in Jesus. He says about that in John 15, 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Glory to God. Malachi 42 says, But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And he shall grow forth and grow up as calves of the star. Set free from the star. Praise the Lord. So right now, I have done my best to, um, as I was telling you about how to um, put Christ on. Oh yes, in Galatians 3, 27 says about putting on Christ. For as many of you been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Praise the Lord. We must put on Christ 
not in, but on, on our bodies. So we're going to be saturated with it. And also the healing from this is what the healing fragment is Psalm 25, 8. All the garments smelled of myrrh, hallelujah, and aloes and cassius of ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. Glory to God in the highest. And I think it will be good we can close my 12 minute message here by imparting more of the Holy Ghost fire substance right now. And those of you that are listening to this tape, why don't you all to stand up as you are listening to your tape. And for those that are watching this telecast, why don't you also stand up around your tables or on your bed, wherever you are. And pin these people here in this audience asking to stand up as we impart. More the Holy Ghost fire this time. Let us all stand at this time as we impart this Holy Ghost fire. Let's all stand. And now, Father God, we impart more of the Holy Ghost and with fire upon our bodies, the spirit A2, and your healing heat, and your Holy Ghost of fire substance come upon our bodies all at the same time. And your healing fragrance from your now body this afternoon to come on our nostrils today. We may smell you and uh, taste you and to feel you and to hear you this very day too. Praise the Lord. And also to recognize you, get personal with you too. It shall be done and it shall be so. It is being done this very day too. And also the eye salve. And the word of him upon the rise to mighty God. And the tongues of fire acts to his upon the lightning of the spirit day too. And let it be done now as we shout three times, Christ hallelujah, three times, it shall be done now altogether, which times, Christ hallelujah. Christ hallelujah. Christ hallelujah. Christ hallelujah. And I'm invited by the Philip Beast to um to announce our closing portion of this telecast at this time. Thank you very much, Brother Mark Paul. And we surely did appreciate this wonderful message from our dear brother, Mark Hall. And now, we would like to personally invite you to write us a letter. We are depending upon the contributions of our listeners. And this is your opportunity, friends, when you can pray to the Lord and ask Him to show you how you can help us financially on a regular basis. This is a tax-exempt church organization, and we will make ready upon receiving your contribution a wonderful receipt so that you can take it and use it for your taxes. So now we'd like to give you the address of our church so you can write us quickly and also to receive wonderful free literature too. Here's our address. Hall Deliverance Foundation, Post Office Box 9910, Phoenix, Arizona 85068. And remember, all your contributions and all of your love offerings are 100% tax exempt when written to the Hall Deliverance Foundation. So we would like to thank you for joining us today. We also want to remind you to be sure and join us again at our next program. Now may God richly bless you and all you folks that are listening. In Jesus' name, amen. There's a song in my heart. May we express our appreciation as we thank you for joining us today. We trust that our program today has been an inspiration to you and your life with Christ. Please write to us at the Franklin Hall Healing Ministries, Post Office Box 9910, Phoenix, Arizona 85068. And we will gladly send you our free catalog of tracks and cassette tapes. Once again, our mailing address is Franklin Hall Healing Ministries, Post Office Box 9910, Phoenix, Arizona 85068. 5068. Don't forget, tune in next week. And make